Welcome everybody to Tuesday Night Titans live from Boston, Massachusetts. And as always, we must give in a quick thank you, Dean Morgan. Truly an incredible man with an incredible vision to present wrestling as a monolith for all of us. And we should truly be thankful for everything that he does. A man who is very thankful for Dean Morgan is Aiden Flynn, the self-professed global icon. Aiden Flynn has been a day one member of Morgan and Associates and he is now regarded by many to be a future world champion here in TNT. Aiden Flynn has had some all-time classic matches, but has really stepped up his game since becoming a member of Morgan & Associates. And he is going to have to take on Seth Dallas here tonight, who's going to be accompanied by... The best bout machine, Jason Paradise. And here they are, Jason Paradise leading out the chopper, Seth Dallas. These two known as Paradise Lost. Looking to make a name for themselves after failing in their bid to win the TNT Men's Tag Team Championships last week. Jason Paradise have been in the game since 97. Seth Dallas, a very experienced wrestler as well. Paradise Kid will be in the corner of the chopper. I expect a big performance here from two up-and-comers. Could be either one of these men be looking to become the next grand champion. Could Paradise Lost be looking to become tag team champions? Let's get into this one. Morgan and Associates presents Tuesday Night Titans, and they are locking horns like a couple of bulls. Dallas shoots Aiden into the corner, but Aiden quickly reversing him now and just laying in that punch. Big pump kick in the face as well. Aiden Flynn, a very tall man who moves very, very quickly. Six foot five. Big knee lift there by Aiden Flynn. Take down by Seth Dallas. And Dallas looking to go for an assault. A diving moonsault off the top. Hooks the leg, but gets the ropes. Slamming the head down into the mat and just kicking Flynn repeatedly in the face. Seth Dallas could be looking for go-ahead perform. No heads to the top instead. Frog splash, but got the knees. And Aiden Flynn laying in the kicks now. Stomped to the face by the global icon. Working his way around the body of Seth Dallas. Went for the shooter, but Dally got the knees up. Chop and Aiden is back to his feet. Dallas on fire, picks up Flynn. Snake eyes and Flynn goes down hard, but he's back to his feet now. Grabs Dallas. Hooks him, key crusher from Aiden Flynn, taking him down. Gorgeous drop kick form there, but Dallas had the counter, grabs Flynn by the head and spins him right round, baby, right round, drills him with a face buster on the way down. Seth Dallas stalking, thinking long and hard about what offensive maneuver to go for next, but Flynn started to recover, so Dallas has got to be on him. Bullet kick from Seth Dallas, and Flynn spent pirouetting. Goes for the cover, dragged him away from the ropes. One, 
two. Kick out by Aiden Flynn at two. Dragon screw leg whip there by Flynn. Gets him back in control. Goes to spin him around, but Dallas with the forearm. Aiden tried to grab him, but Dallas sends him up and over. Nearly took out his tag team partner, Jason Paradise, there. But Dallas looking to fly. Dallas wants Aiden Flynn to his feet. Oh my goodness, front missile! But Aiden was not in position, and Dallas landed hard. Back to his feet, though. Very impressive recovery. On the floor, another hard landing on the back of Dallas. Moonsault from Aiden Flynn. Kick in the head by Aiden Flynn. Now getting back in control. Both men trying to grab each other, but Dallas thrown into the awaiting arms of Jason Paradise, the best bout machine, kicking him in the back and his head clacking against the steps. Here comes that power, the suplex on the floor. Jason Paradise doing a good job to not get involved, not getting his man disqualified. Very nice shooting star there by Aiden Flynn on the floor. Flynn countered by Dallas, who caught him with a DDT on the floor. And this one is taking a lot of spills outside. Devastating offensive maneuvers, big chops, and a Juji Katoki under the jaw. But Flynn making use of the steel steps at ringside. Dallas with a knee to the head, gets some space. They need to get back in the ring. Dallas on the barrier now. Aiden Flynn just laying in those shots. Dallas can't even defend himself. Sent careening back into the barrier. They need to get back in, and it looks like Aiden Flynn is headed that way. But he slides back out and into the awaiting arms of Seth Dallas, who just careens him into the barrier at ringside. Flynn back up, and he's looking to get back in. Aiden caught Dallas lacking. Drop dead, Tiger Driver. One, two. Dallas kicks out of the drop dead. Stacked him high on that one. Thrust kick to Seth Dallas. He went for that drop kick. We've seen him do that in the past, but Dallas had the counter, lifts him up, and nails him with the gut buster. And Dallas has Flynn up, fainted him out for the DDT. Dallas headed to the outside, looking for something big here. Power forearm! One, two, and Flynn kicks out of the go ahead per forearm. But Dallas measuring up. Bullet kick! It had a name on it, and it was Aiden Flynn. Look at that fantastic jackknife to base and the neck breaker from Dallas. That could be the five hit combo he needs. Up and perform! Flynn moved out of the way. Flynn moved out of the go ahead, perform, catches him. Tiger Driver drop dead. One, two, and Dallas kicks out. Aiden Flynn can't believe it. A second drop dead Tiger Driver shooting. Stardust got some sloppy connection, but landed in the end on the shooting Stardust. Flynn spins him up and now has him locked in a chin lock. Will Dallas be forced to submit? Referee Jackson James is Looking to call it, but Dallas survived up on the shoulders. Spins him out. Down under bomb from Seth Dallas. Now just stamping on the hand of Aiden Flynn. Wears no hand protection, unlike Seth Dallas. Standing shooter from Dallas. And this one is heating up now. Dallas grabs Flynn, shoots him in the corner. 
Flynn in a bad way. Off the middle for the gum and carry. Fantastic ring control there by Seth Dallas to the middle. BME! Marrow Salt from Seth Dallas. One, two, and Flynn gets the shoulder up off the BME. Dallas thought he had him. Springboard's off, went for the cutter, but Flynn had the counter. Flynn punches, goes for the kick and it's caught. Sweeps the leg. Moonsault by Seth Dallas. Flynn back to his feet. Kick from Flynn. Tossed in the corner. Aiden gets over and now just boots Dallas. A little low there, but the referee didn't say anything. Alley oops him out of the corner and just kicks him right in the face. Now attacking the bullet kicking leg of Seth. Dallas picks him right back up, goes for the chop and it's countered. Dallas with a chop of his own. They don't call him the chopper for nothing. Fainting DDT. Dallas grabs him, but Flynn counters. Flynn caught him out of nowhere. Drop dead. Tiger driver for the third time. One, two, three, and Aiden gets the win off the third drop dead, Tiger Driver. Top form for Aiden Flynn, fantastic capitalization of opportunity. Gets him the win. And Flynn definitely benefiting from that MA association. As we move in to the next matchup. And as we get into our next contest, we've got some women's action for you. Courtesy of the mastermind, Dean Morgan, cooking this one up in the back. We've got Yelena Marquez taking on Mary Ray Millers. Yelena Marquez, an American wrestling standout. Impressive everywhere she goes. How will she fare tonight against the relatively unknown Mary Ray Millers? It'll be interesting to see. Yelena Marquez was originally penciled in to be a part of the Legacy Championship match, but was taken out at the last second and replaced by eventual winner Mei Kazuko. So you have to wonder how Yelena feels about that. Maybe she has got her eyes set on Mei Kazuko. And in just a few weeks' time, with that championship gauntlet that Dean Morgan has talked about, it will be interesting to see if she will be a part of that. But tonight, she's got to have her eyes set on Mary Ray Millers. Definitely going to be interesting. Bit of a clash of styles, as it were. Ray Millers makes her way down the aisle. Certainly full of energy here. Will she be able to apply that to what she wants to do here in TNT? Mary Ray Millers could very well find herself in that championship gauntlet that Dean Morgan will be hosting in just two weeks' time. Let's get into this one. 
And Yelena and Mary Ray Miller starting off half and half from Millers to Marquez. Start as you mean to go on and now spinning her around by the head. That is impressive given the size difference between these two. Yelena runs in for that knee, but Miller stays standing and even manages to hit a springboard attack of sorts. Dragon screw by Marquez, however. And now has her up in that gorilla press and just drops her down. Yelena went for an attack, but Miller's had the counter. Kicked her right in the face as well. Now just dropping the knee on the arm of Marquez. Big chop, and now look at this knee attack from Mary Ray Millers. She has been all over Yelena Marquez. Baited her in. And a rope assisted Frankensteiner takes down Marquez. Mary Ray Millers has just been incredibly impressive here, showing that maybe she should have been the one involved in that Legacy Championship match last week that was won by Mei Kazuko. Look at these repeated shots to the head by Millers. Yelena Marquez is definitely not down and out quite yet, but she's got to stay on top of it. Double stomp is a good way to do just that, and a kick swinging backwards to do it. More of this incredible power on display by Yelena Marquez. Even with the size difference, it is not easy to lift up a human being and hold them in that way for that long. Oh, speaking of, good lord, inverted Beal from Yelena Marquez. Dropped Mary Ray Millers. Big clothesline there by Millers. And a follow through on the second one. Caught the leg and sweeps it. Mary Ray Millers could be looking to get the win off of that Lariat combo. One kick out. James Jackson was out of position, but I don't even think that would have finished the match. Yelena just too much fighting spirit. Bama, yay. Takes down Yelena. Calling her up. Hooks her. Spinning complete shot. A wave of the future. One, two. No, that was close. Yelena, last possible second, kicking out of the Blade Runner. Mary Ray Millers, though, staying on her, throws Yelena in the corner. Yelena, though, fighting with everything she's got. Look at that forearm. Off the ropes, getting that run up for the devastating left hook to the jaw. Hopefully Mary Ray Millers does not have a glass jaw after that one. Lena throws her back in the corner. Corner has played a lot of game in this one. Look at these uppercuts. Mary Ray Miller's given no time to even breathe. Yelena right after a big uppercut. Tosses her again. Another big uppercut. Off the ropes with the drop kick. Fantastic. Combination of offense there by Yelena Marquez. Picks her up. Military press. Nails her with the gut check. What offense that was. Gets a two, but not quite the three. As Mary Ray Millers manages to kick out at two. Yelena's got to stay on her. And it looks like she intends to do just that. Oh, this doesn't end well. Double underhook. Jay Driller, the Tiger Driver, 98 from Yelena Marquez. One, two, and Mary Ray Millers kicks out of the Tiger Driver, 98. Good God almighty. Picks her back up, went for the knee stinger, but couldn't quite connect with it. Hooks the arm, hook kick from Millers. This has been a hard hitting affair. Either one of these women could get it any time. That was a springboard 90 degree moonsault. Kame Goye from Mary Ray Millers pulls her in. One, two, kick out by Marquez at two. How many big moves can you hit after another? Catches it, inverted Olympic slam from Millers. 
Mary Ray Miller's picks her up, toss out off the ropes, but Yelena just bowled right through her. That's that size difference, but Mary Ray Miller's, look at these stiff kicks. Good Lord. Hooks her here. Twist and shout from Mary Ray Miller's. Goes for the punches, but Yelena's had enough and lays in those forearms. Grabs the leg, DDT to the leg as well. Pulls her forward, oh goodness, look at this pendulum German suplex from Marquez. Mary Ray Miller's nowhere to go on that one. Now just laying in the punches, but a knee lift from Miller's caught her. Blade Runner out of nowhere, got her for the second one. One, two, three, and Mary Ray Miller's gets the win. Fantastic performance. Yelena Marquez put up a hell of a fight. I personally thought it was over after the Tiger Driver 98, but Mary Ray Millers got a fantastic comeback performance and gets the win with the Blade Runner. Definitely impressive. Of Kanosuke Takeshita. But now we see them standing face to face, eye to eye, in a one on one contest. And all I can say is that if you are at all squeamish, I recommend looking away because this will not be for the faint of heart. Michael Young has had some bloody wars in the past. A hard-hitting Hanson-esque son of a bitch making his way down the aisle. Truly no one better at his craft than Michael Young. There may be more flashy. There may be some who understand the art of wrestling more. But if you ask me who is the best at what Michael Young does, it is Michael Young bar none. Let's get into this one. Starts right off. Mikey with the kick looking for a brain buster to start it off. And he nails it. Start as you mean to go on, I suppose. Good Lord. And now up on the top with the elbow. Didn't get all of it, but got enough of it. Good God, what a start. Gut wrench. Dr. Bomb by Michael Young. He is hitting all the classics to start. And now working on the arm. Went for the Senton Atomico. But Takeshita got the knees up. Runs in. Went for the Lariat. Mikey had it scouted naturally, of course. And now the punches being exchanged and even a forearm and Takeshita's on the ropes to start this one off. Oh my goodness, no, no, no. Mikey, what are you doing? Suicide Atomico Takeshita moved out of the way. Mikey landed hard, oh my God. We aren't even one minute into this match and I, what in the hell? Takeshita. On the offensive, catches Mikey with the kitchen sink. Takeshita up top, calls Michael Young to attention. Diving attack, but Mikey wasn't in the right place. Takeshita catches him though, grabbing Mikey by the long hair. Putting him on the ropes and Takeshita gets tumbled over. Michael Young went for a springboard elbow, but Takeshita had it scouted, I guess. I don't know how you train to counter that kind of maneuver. I knew this was going to be a, a hard match to watch, but this is not even out of the opening stretches, and these two are killing each other. Divorce court followed by the prenup from Konosuke Takeshita. And now focusing intently on that left arm, you see the kinesiological tape on the shoulder 
And Mikey Young has on, stomp to the leg as well. Michael back up, lariats his damn head off. Good God. Could have knocked him out of his boots and these two are just fighting for everything they've got. And Takeshita shoots Mikey into the barrier at ringside, gets back in the ring. Telling Mikey, get back in here and let's fight like men. Mikey is, he's a mortal man, even if he is a lord of the lariat. Gets back in and Takeshita caught him. Big punch right in the face and springboard went for the forearm, but Mikey moved out of the way. Michael Young with the punches now and a forearm connecting from Young. Mikey grabs him, atomic drop off the ropes, Yakuza. And a big boy senton from Michael Young. Now picking him up. Look at that military press. Dropping Kanosuke Takeshita down hard. Lariat from Mikey and he is firing up. Catches the leg and sweeps it. And Kanosuke Takeshita could be out after those double lariats. One, two, and Mikey not quite able to secure the three off of that lariat combination. DDT by Michael Young. But Takeshita from the floor. And he's going back to targeting those arms. Gonna make it harder and harder to hit lariats or at least hurt when it does. Continuously assaulting in, specifically on the crease of the elbow. Drop kick to the labrum as well. And Takeshita from the top. Diving elbow, and he got every bit of that one. One, two, and Mikey gets the shoulder up at two. Michael Young. Counters to Keshta with just a couple of rights to the face. Snap German drilling Kanosuke to Keshta. What a landing. Hard to get more rough than that. And now Mikey Tiger driver to Takeshita. Goes for the cover. One, two. And Takeshita kicks out of the Tiger driver. Kanosuke Takeshita could be in a bad spot though. 585, countered by Takeshita. Went for 585, caught him with a northern lights. Takeshita had it scouted. That's what took him out of the match last week. Jump on knee. The Boo Psycho, one, two. Mikey busted open, but Mikey does not go down. And Takeshita with the moonsault. And the kicks are plenty from Takeshita as he goes back up to the top. And the Tennessee jam from Kanosuke to Keshta, but Michael Young gets the boot up, went for the chop, but got the punch. These two are hitting each other with everything they've got. Swing out roundhouse by Kanosuke to Keshta. Takeshita grabs him and Mikey with the elbow runs in. Caught, snap dragon on the neck. He went for that lariat, but Takeshita had the counter, hooks the leg. One, two, Mikey survives. And Takeshita is hitting him with everything, including the jumbo knee. One, two, three, and Kanosuke Takeshita finally gets the win. Kanosuke Takeshita had to damn near kill Michael Young to get the win. But he did just that. And then some fantastic performance as we move in to our next contest. Got here by defeating Nikki Diamond and Tony Samuels. 
So they have beaten a lot of contenders to get to this point. Each had to win a match with a former world champion and former contender in it. Cole Black actually does hold a TNT championship to his credit, defeating inaugural champion Casey Sharp. But that's been a long, long, long time ago. And it remains to be seen if he can get to that point again. But he's going to have to go through a tough competitor to do it. And here he is, the self-professed heart and soul of professional wrestling, Alex Clark. A man who reached the mountaintop only for the mountain to be demolished and replaced with residential parking. Now has to get back to that point again. He's got to defeat a man he's never faced before in coal black. This promises to be a technical matchup with both men known to use submission maneuvers. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day, the M&A Men's Heavyweight Championship. One of these men will walk away at the top. One fall to a finish. Let's get into this one. And Cole went for the smack early. Alex Clark tossed over the top rope. And Cole now just going for some beatings on the chest of Alex Clark. Fantastic camera work here as we really just get to see the brutality to start this one off and a hard fall as well. Cole grabs Alex, oh goodness. Backdrop driver into the stairs. Cole Black is not starting around with the intention of playing with Alex, he is trying to kill him. Oh my goodness. Alex throwing Cole back in the ring, and he is up, but Cole is in control. Lifts up Alex and drops him on the top rope as well. Now just stomping on the hand, and Alex is still reeling from that opening assault. Has him locked in the injection. Will Cole get the quick submission? Alex with the knees. He has got to get out of the starting gates. There is no way that he can continue at this pace if he does not get into it, but Cole has had the counters for everything Alex has been attempting. Alex now in trouble. One, two, and Alex kicks out. Cole just kicking Alex in the back of the head. Just staying on top of him. Alex back to his feet and he lays in the punch, but Cole right back into it. Alex reverses once again and swings him with that big body slam and the shining elbow as well. And Alex now fist drop to the face of Cole Black. He is getting back into it now but was too much damage done. It doesn't matter as he is laying in those punches, scoops him up for the double leg slam. And Alex now picking up Cole, but Cole turns it on him. Grabs him half and half on the neck and the assault on the neck continues. Cole gave him the clap and now Lethal dose of poison applied to Alex Clark. This is what won him the match last week. But Alex has that counter and punch right in the head of Cole Black. Cole with the punch, spins him around. Went for the Black Tar Harem, but Clark had the counter and sends Cole up and over. 
And they find themselves back on the outside this time with Alex in control. Orange Crush, power bomb on the floor. Good God almighty. Wind up for an elbow drop to the back of the head as well. And a dragon screw leg whip. And now Cole just slamming the head of Alex on the outside. And a knee drop as well. And now Alex just being hooshed from pillar to post over to the other side of the ringside area. Cole picks him up, but Alex manages to counter. Cole counters Alex. Alex counters Cole. And Racina backdrop driver also on the steps. And now the punches. I've never in my life seen men trade backdrop drivers into steel steps with those rabbit punches not feeling good either. Good Lord. Alex now just throwing Cole into the barrier. And Alex just waiting for Cole, trying to get him to come back in the ring. Hyping himself up with the Boston crowd, but Alex slides out into the awaiting clutches of Cole Black. Maybe not the best strategy. Cole now finds himself back in the ring. Slides back in. Alex grabs him in the poetry of silence. Will Cole be forced to submit to the POS? Cole is in deep, but he bowls back over and manages to kick Alex in the back. And he catches him, went for the body slam, caught with a stiff DDT. Alex grabs him, spins him around, but Cole had the reversal, went to Larry at his head up, but couldn't quite get it. Alex Clark with the Northern Lights to Cole Black. Cole single leg into the dragon screw from Cole Black. Cole went for the jab, but it was countered. Grabs him and throws him up and over. Alex landing hard. Cole Black really just telling him how he feels, but Alex back to his feet and back in the ring. Cole lifts him up. Another half and half suplex to the neck. Picks him up one more time, spins him around. For the first time, Black Tar heroin from Cole Black. One, two, and Alex kicks out of the Black Tar heroin. Cole Black picks him up, gave, went, for, went to give him the clap, but Alex doesn't like Clapton, gave him the Rana as a return. Picks him up, Alex Clark grabbing Cole Black and just trying to figure out where to put him. That's gonna cost him as Cole manages to escape. Went for the punch, but Alex was beeled over. Poetry of silence for the second time. Locked in deep. Alex is wrenching. And Cole submits. Alex Clark wins the men's championship. Cole Black not quite able to get it done. As Alex Clark picks up the win. And the championship. As we move in to our next contest. And as we move into our next contest, we've got two men who could be vying for a future grand championship opportunity. As CC Chambers, the Triple C, makes his way down the aisle. CC definitely possesses a lot of talent in that ring. 
Especially if, if he can connect with that devastating belly-to-back slam. He's been known to utilize... CC Chambers definitely could be looking to make a name for himself. Was a part of the old TNT for a time, but never had a chance to make much of a splash. So CC Chambers will be taking on Danny Horror. And Danny Horror, at least to this area of the world, was unknown just last week. But now he is known as a man who can take a lot of damage and nearly won the grand championship here in TNT. Danny Horror was just one brief moment away from being the man clutching that championship instead of Jamie Clark, but that 585 on the outside would take down any fighter, not just Danny Horror. Made it all the way to the final two. But a win here tonight could very easily line him up for a future championship matchup. So let's get into this one. Two young men looking to make a name for themselves. And Danny Horror starting off with the chops, but CC Horror definitely managed to fire back. Catches him, backslide driver from Horror, two Horror from Chambers, one, and the kick out bowls Chambers over. CC though, no rest for the wicked as he goes to the top rope. Looking to get his dive on. Diving Meteora onto Danny Horror, wiping him out. And CC locking in the figure four neck lock. A devastating strangulation there, but Horror managed to get back up, kicking the leg there. Brutal. Toss in the corner, but Danny Horror with the back elbow. Noticing he does not wear elbow pads. Those are especially brutal. Grabs him, sweeps the leg, turn the page on that one. Kick in the head. Now just trying to choke him out a little bit. Relaxed rules courtesy of James Jackson and now just stomping on the hand. CC Chambers with the double stomp, followed it up with the swinging kick. Now just stomping on his hand. CC Chambers has been controlling the ground game for much of this matchup. Fantastic offense there by Chambers to the hand. Now tossing Danny Horror into the corner. But Danny with the knee and pushes Chambers back into the corner. Slamming the mop top into the top turnbuckle. And now continuing to play corner tag as Chambers shoots Danny out. Moonsault off the ropes, ducks the line, flying elbow, the jumbo elbow from CC Chambers goes for the cover. One, two, kick out.
And now CeCe picks him up. Twister kick from Chambers. How many rotations did he just do? Good Lord. But Danny Hoare not taken down just yet. Hooks him. Gut wrench suplex takes him down. Good Lord. Now in the corner. Looking for the thrust kick right to the face of CeCe Chambers. Danny Hoare grabbing CC here, picking him up, dropping him down as well. And now just stomping on the arm of Chambers. Repeatedly just trying to do to Chambers what Chambers did to Hoare earlier in the match. Now has him prepped and ready, but thinks better of it. Looks like he could have been going for the Chicago Destroyer, but Chambers plants him with blood in the water. And Danny Hoare right back up. That was one of CeCe's biggest moves, and Danny got right back to his feet. But CeCe threw him right back out of the ring and just stomping on the hand of Danny Hoare once again. A lot of hand-based offense. Between these two, I'm sure there's gonna be at least one broken finger or thumb in this. This is just brutal at this point. This has gotta be nearing 20 stomps to the left hand of Danny Hoare. He may need a cast after this match. Good Lord. Danny though managing to fight. Luckily he is an orthodox and not a southpaw. Blue Thunder, bomb on the floor. Danny Hoare picking up Picked up, rather, by CeCe Chambers and tossed back into the barrier at ringside. And CeCe taking a moment to bask in it. A Boston crowd giving him some adulation as Danny Hoare very, very slowly starts to stagger to his feet. Danny looking to get back in the ring and CeCe even giving him some space. Love to see the respect there. Danny not going to give him the same gratis. Picks him up. Stormbreaker by Horror. One, two. Kick out by Chambers at two. Danny Horror thought he had him done. Went for the knee drop. Nobody home. And CC Chambers has him in his sights. Tornado kick once again. Now calling him up. CC Chambers could have him ready for the triple styles clash. One, two, no, Danny Hoare kicks out. Arabian press, nobody home. Danny grabs him, neck breaker. You can see him still favoring that left hand a little bit after all the stomps dealt to those fingers, but a big knee to the arm. And now Danny Horror grabs him. Reverse exploder from Horror. Clubbering on the back and even doing some push ups. Got to get a rep in wherever you can, I suppose. Danny Horror has him lined up. Super kick once again to CC Chambers. Goes for the cover. One, two. CC kicks out. Danny Hoare picking up CC once again, kicking the stomach. Went for a suplex, but CC had the counter. Chambers with a pile driver to Danny Hoare. Good God almighty, that's a rough one. And a gorgeous knee drop to the chest as well. Playing it old school, now going back to that that neck lock, that figure four neck lock he had applied on earlier. This may be ruled via referee stoppage if Danny Hoare can't get himself back into it. CeCe lets him go, didn't have a good enough grip. Swiping the sweat out of the mop top as he hits a neck snap and goes for the pin. One, two, no, Danny gets the shoulder up on two. CC needs to stop playing with his food and go for the kill. But he wants to deal some damage to the other hand now. 
Is Danny Hoare even going to be able to defend himself after all these attacks on the hands? Danny Hoare in the corner. This could be what he's looking for. Chicago Destroyer and CC Chambers lands hard. Busted open. One, two. CC kicks out at two. CC Chambers may have a broken nose, a cut on the orbital bone. It's hard to tell. Arm drag by Horror. Horror with the kick. Up on the shoulders. Stormbreaker. One, two. No, CC still kicks out. How much more can Danny Horror do? He is hit with everything. Tornado kick. Horror moved out of the way. Horror bobbed and weaved to get out of the way of that one. Danny Horror with the snake eyes. CC goes down hard. CC getting back into it though. This is all about with the Grand Championship Division is built upon Tornado Kick. One, two, three. CC finally gets the win. Those two giving each other everything they could and then some. Shedding so much blood to get the win. My God, that is a nasty gash on the eye of CC Chambers, but it got him the win. We move into our next contest. And as we get into a bit of a grudge match built on nearly a year of bad blood, Jacob Clark takes on Chet Thorne. Jacob was originally scheduled to take on Cisco Favre, but was not permitted to do so when Chet Thorne made a few phone calls and got himself inserted into this matchup. Jacob Clark has been maybe the most outspoken about his disdain for Dean Morgan and Morgan and Associates presents Tuesday Night Titans. But Jacob Clark definitely has the talent and the skill to maybe start an uprising. Will Jacob be able to defeat the MNA Golden Goose that is Jet Thorne? You see him say in the camera there some very unsavory things about Dean Morgan that I shan't repeat to you all here. But the former WNW World Champion with a lot to prove and a lot on the line. As Jet Thorne, the leader of the dead youth, makes his way down the aisle. He is the crown jewel, the golden goose, the prize fighter of MNA and who retired as TNT champion, failed in his bid to win it this time, but now has his sights set on Jacob Clark. This only ends one way, and it doesn't end with both of them walking out of here on their own. Let's get in to this one. James Jackson, hold your breath. Jet Thorne grabbing Jacob to start and just carrying him around like a child. You saw Jacob try to wriggle free of that one, but it did not work. Flying back elbow by Clark. Now just the stomp on the arm. Jet takes him down. Boot and the knee as well. This one. 
I don't expect to be a technical classic. This is going to be a brutal matchup where nobody will really win, except in the extremely technical sense, as these two are going to beat lumps out of each other. And you can already see it. You're rocking from Jet Thorne. Swinging black hole slam from Jacob Clark. And look at this. Beal throw to Jet Thorne. And Jacob Clark, another black hole slam onto Jet Thorne. Up to the middle rope, calling Jet to attention. Diving shoulder tackle to Thorne. Back up, Jet runs in, kick to the leg. Jacob Clark does have the size advantage slightly. He's a little shorter, but weighs a little more than Jet Thorne. They'd be very evenly matched if this were a traditional fight. This is not even sanctioned by TNT. This is just two men working out their grievances. And you can see that Jacob is really putting it to Jet Thorne here. And Jacob Clark grabbing Jet, but Jet single legs him into a dragon screw. And now just laying into him. Jet grabs Jacob, looking for an exploder perhaps. No, just a fall away slam to Jacob Clark and Jet Thorne staying on him. Jacob moved out of the way. Jet caught him. German suplex from Jet Thorne. And just swinging him by the, lead, by the leg, excuse me. And Jet, Jet Thorne now leaving the ring. Looking to grab an implement, and he has a table. And that one shot just sent a crack down the entirety of the table. Jacob with the Thez, and he is laying in those punches. You know that Jacob has wanted to do that for so long. Just punched Jet Thorne right in the face. I don't even think they're going to have to put each other through the table. Jacob gets back in the ring, right back out, trying to bait Jet Thorne in, but realized that he wasn't getting in fast enough for his liking. Now has the table, sliding it in the ring. Jet Thorne back up, grabs Jacob. Oh, goodness, this doesn't end well. Backbreaker to Jacob. Jacob sweeps the leg of Jet, who lands hard on that table. Oh, goodness. Oh, no, no, no. Running, kick in the face, but Jet moved out of the way, I think. No, Jacob connected with it. It was tough to say. Jet, though, back to his feet. Jet grabs Jacob, has him in a bad spot. Power bomb position. Oh, no. Up and over, power bomb to the floor. I bet he wishes that table was there now. Oh, my God. What a landing. Jacob, though, to his credit, immediately back in, went for a headbutt, but Jet grabbed the arm. And now just laying in the punches, and Jacob is busted open. Jacob back to his feet. Bloodied and all went for the head, but again, he finally got it on the third attempt. Backdrop driver to Jet. One, two. Jet kicks out, and he headbutted the hell out of him. I think he opened up his own cut even more than Jet did. Good Lord. Jacob Clark with that backdrop driver now has Jet in position. Running knee and Jet is busted open now. One, two, and Jet kicks out. Both men bloodied and battered, brutalized, and Jacob Clark is just taking it to Jet Thorne. Tries to spin him around, but Jet had the reversal in time. Jet Thorne attacking that leg that is braced up that Jacob Clark has. Jet with the punch and the chop, and he is just laying into him, kicks the leg out from under his leg and just knees him right in the eye. Both men bloody as hell. 
Thorne in your eye. Chet Thorne nails it. One, two, three. Chet gets the win. Jacob's anger cost him in the end. He didn't go for the kill. He went for the brutality. But Chet is now irreverably scarred with the fury of Jacob Clark. What a match. And as we get into our main event, it is time to determine the TNT Women's Heavyweight Champion. And this is an interesting circumstance we find ourselves in. At the end of last week's show, we thought it was going to be Kaylee Mercer taking on Cassidy Clark. But because of what has been called a scoring error, whatever that means... Certified lover boy Selena Adams has found herself with an entry into this matchup for the championship. She was eliminated by Kaylee Mercer just last week. But now finds herself with an opportunity to win it all. And you know that has to eat Kaylee up inside. Now making her way out here, the ace, Cassidy Clark. It was just last week that she announced that she will be reopening FNF as a mild touring brand for women's wrestling excellence. Cassidy Clark could be looking to head there as TNT Women's Heavyweight Champion. A prize she won two times in the old TNT. Was the final ever champion as well. And then there's the curious case of the CLB. Selena Adams makes her way down the aisle. Selena Adams was well and truly defeated last week by Kaylee Mercer. She should by all rights not be in this matchup, but fact of the matter is she is in this matchup and she could very well win the Women's Heavyweight Championship. So they've got to keep a lookout for that. That's what it's all about. We saw earlier in the night, Alex Clark won the men's heavyweight championship. And now one of these three could win the women's championship. James Jackson holds it above his head. Elimination style is the name of the game. Let's get into this one. And look at this immediately. Cassidy Clark taking some issue with how Selena got into this one. Kaylee Mercer with a poison Rana though. Selena wants nothing to do with any of this. But Kaylee throws her in the corner. You're rocking from Cassidy, but Kaylee gets back into it. And double kicks there, but Cassidy grabbing Kaylee Mercer. Big back penalty kick. Selena with the knee lift. Grabs her. Dirty looking brain buster there by Selena Adams. Selena grabbing Kaylee Mercer and just giving her a personal introduction to her most valuable asset. Knocking her down. Cassidy not taking too kindly to that electric chair position. 
Knocks her down with that elbow to the back of the head. KO. And now the back elbows from Cassidy Clark to Kaylee Mercer. Selena grabbed by Cassidy. But Selena manages to reverse and the certified lover boy with that DDT. Kaylee Mercer grabs her and kicks her in the face. Fantastic hammerlock into the Northern Lights there by Cassidy Clark. It seems a wrestling match has broken out here between this example of just backstage issues making its way outside into the ring. Power bomb stacked high. One kick out by Selena though. Kaylee Mercer exits the ring. She's looking to grab a weapon of some variety. She finds her way on a chair as Cassidy Clark hits the best drop kick in the business. TNA kick by Kaylee Mercer into a corkscrew moonsault. And now just looking to stomp on the arm as Selena grabs a Singapore cane. And Kaylee disarms her. Just clatters Selena with it. Another penalty kick to the back as Selena Adams is grabbed by Cassidy Clark but gets the reversal. And a big pump kick to the face from Selena Adams. Knee stinger. Look at that variation on a DDT on the Singapore cane. And how much Kaylee Mercer must be infuriated that Selena Adams managed to find a scoring error to get into this championship match. Already some controversy with the TNT Women's Heavyweight Championship. Selena Adams grabs her. DDT to her and the nightfall after the DDT brutal. Spins her over and goes for the pin. One, two, and Selena kicks out at two. Kaylee is still standing, runs in. Casadora takes down Cassidy. But Cassidy catches her into that tilt-a-whirl backbreaker. Good Lord. And James Jackson being told by Selena Adams, it is mine! As she gets hit with a springboard nightfall and rolls out of the ring. Big Singapore shot and a second one takes her down. Third one incoming and shatters on Cassidy's head. Went for the moonsault, but nobody home. Grabs Kaylee. Ripcord into the lowercase AA. And picks her back up into the Regal Plex. Fantastic combination there by Cassidy Clark. And now has her locked in the stretch plum. Kaylee Mercer locked in the stretch plum. Will Kaylee be taken down? She manages to escape as Selena gets another Singapore cane and just clatters Kaylee and Cassidy with it in the back. Good God almighty. And takes her down with the clothesline. Look at how bent that Singapore cane is. As Kaylee picked up by Selena. Went for the smack, but nobody home. Cassidy pulls out a ladder. What do you need with that? Gut wrench. Oh, my goodness. Canadian rack. Neck breaker. As Kaylee gets out of the ring. This ring is filling up with implements. And at this point, I don't like it. Knee lift. As Cassidy is in the corner. Selena Adams with the back elbow, a second ladder. What do they need with both of those ladders? This is just, this is just not very wise. Kaylee thrown up and over. Selena in a bad way. Oh my goodness, no way. Oh no, this doesn't end well. My God, there's no way. She was going for the Tiger Driver 30-22, but landed on the ladder. Cassidy with the King Kong to Selena Adams. That was brutal. Selena Adams can barely move. Disaster kick. Selena standing. Kaylee goes for the pin. One kick out. Cassidy 
down. Selena grabs the cane, nails Kaylee with it, and she lands on the ladder as well. Good God. Taking a bite out of her ring finger there. Doing it a second time. Those ladders are in precarious positions. In the corner of the ring. Kicks to the leg. And Cassidy caught Kaylee while she wasn't looking. BID! One, two. Kaylee kicks out of the BID. Cassidy caught by Selena who tosses her in the corner. Cassidy moves out of the way. Selena Adams caught with that neck breaker. Rolls out of the ring and it's Kaylee and Cassidy once again. Chair shot to the back of the head. Wedging it in the corner as well. Kaylee being called to attention by Cassidy Clark. Runs in, running drop kick, the best in the business, but Kaylee had the counter. Oh, goodness gracious. Kaylee Mercer grabbing Cassidy Clark, putting her on the ropes. Could be looking for that backflip DDT. No, Cassidy, yes she did, she hit the backflip DDT. I thought Cassidy had the counter. One, two. Cassidy kicks out as Selena gets back in the ring. She has been picking her spots remarkably well. High kick, ducks the follow through. Cassidy picking the arm as she hits a nice hammerlock Northern Lights suplex. Went for the nightfall, but Cassidy not able to connect with it. Oh no, oh no. Pendulum, German suplex onto the ladder. Good God. Picks her up. And now the DDT. Just pin her already. She can barely move. Beal throwing her back of her head. Hit the ladder that is wedged precariously in the corner. Half and half suplex. How much damage can you do to this poor woman's neck? My God. Biting on her ring finger there. As Selena throws her in the corner. And now just kicking the fit in the leg. Selena in trouble as Cassidy is hitting those back elbows. Kaylee back up, Cassidy back up, and Cassidy set head first into the chair. My God, one, two. Cassidy survives somehow. Her fighting spirit to her detriment. Sit out slam from Selena Adams. Picks up Kaylee Mercer. Kick in the stomach. She could do literally anything. Tiger Driver 2022. One, two. Kaylee kicks out of the Tiger Driver 2022. Selena now just putting the boots to her as yet another Singapore cane is introduced. And Selena disarms her, not allowing her to utilize it. Oh, goodness. Powerbomb, high stack, one. Kick out at one by Selena Adams, the certified lover boy, not having any of that. Kaylee runs in, thrust kick to the back of the head, grabs Selena Adams. Puts her on the ropes. Back elbow by Adams. Went for the smack and got caught. Kaylee Mercer, Emerald, Flosion to Selena Adams. And looking under the ring again. Is there even anything left under there? Surprised they haven't started out pulling out the bracing that holds the damn thing up. Selena grabbing the chair that was used on Cassidy Clark earlier. Oh my God, a shot to the back and then to the face. It's gotta end in the ring. Kaylee Mercer getting back in the ring. Went for the Yurokin, but a little too early. Snapmare off the ropes. A big drop kick to the side of the head. Selena caught by Cassidy. Oh, goodness. 
Royal Butterfly by Cassidy Clark. Selena getting back up as Kaylee with the kick. Springboard moonsault, but Selena tried to go for something. Put her right in position for BID. One, two. Selena kicks out of BID. It's BID City on Kaylee now. BID, one, two, three. Kaylee's out of there. It's down to Selena and Cassidy Clark. Nightfall is countered. Kaylee Mercer playing defense. Dr. Teeth. Picks her up. Cassidy Clark grabbed by Selena Adams here in the corner. Went for the kick to the leg, but nobody home. And look at these back elbows sending spit flying from the mouth of the certified lover boy. Kick is countered. Big pump kick is absorbed by Cassidy. Knee lift. Went for the Grizzly Magnum. Selena Carter in the corner. Kick to the leg. Cassidy back up. Selena backdrop driver by Cassidy. And Cassidy dragging Selena Adams. Looking for it, she has it applied. The stretch plum is in deep. And Selena submits. Cassidy Clark wins the TNT Women's Heavyweight Championship. Cassidy Clark always finds herself on the mountain top. It is hard to keep her away from championship gold as she picks up another title for the collection. And we close out our broadcast for the evening.